Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be going through the items that I got on the Sephora savings event. And Ulta, of course, was also having their Springs savings haul. So I did get a couple things from Ulta too. So let, let's jump on into it. If you like hauls, if you like these kinds of videos, please leave a comment down below. Do give the video a like, it helps me out so, so much. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Let's jump on into the goodies. Let's jump on into what we got at Sephora first. I tried to just get things that I've been really, really wanting. I tried not to spend a lot of money because it's just, sometimes you just wanna get everything. But I usually wait till this time of the year to repurchase and restock on things. I did a little bit of both. I did some restocking. I did some purchasing of some of the newest things that I wanted to try out. So let's talk about the things that I've been wanting for a long time. I have not been into eyeshadow palettes for a very long time. I feel like I have a lot of Morphe palettes. I just have a bunch of palettes stocked up in places, but this palette here, this one is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. This calls my name, especially this summer. I'm gonna be rocking out on a bunch of concerts. It was between this one and the Patrick Ta palette, but I figured this one was nicer because it has sparkles. I mean, look at this packaging. Let's, let's do it together, let's open it. Ooh, this is the pretty grunge palette. Wait till you see the inside. Are you ready? Oh, I just hope it doesn't fall. Tell me that is not stunning. This is me right here. This is exactly what I needed for the summer for all my concerts. And it has this grunge color here and it feels like it's like a cream, like an eyeliner. Ooh, this is such a pretty palette. It has everything that you need and just love the sparkles. Let's swatch some, why not? This one right here, this is calling my name. That is so buttery. Oh my God, let's swatch right now, quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that reflection there. Okay, let's swatch this one here. Ooh, this is butter, guys. This is literal butter. Oh, it's definitely a buttery formula. It's not powder. That is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm so glad I got that palette. Look at the metallic. I just wanna like put it on my eyelids a little bit. Oh my God, and this is with the leftover. Let's go on this side too. Let's uh, swatch one of the mattes. Ooh, I'm the worst swatcher, but it's literally like butter. Obsessed. I am not a Rouge member, I'm a VIB member, so I got 15% off of this. I was Rouge at one point, but I took a year off of makeup and I'm back at it again. I am gonna be using this nonstop. I just, I already know it. It was about time for a new palette. I just have a lot of the old palettes, which are nice. I still use them, but it was just that time that I needed to try a new palette. You know what I mean? Moving on. I got all of the shades of the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Blushes. So I had two shades already that I got before the sale, which was Joy and Happy, the most like popular shades. But then I love them so much and I wanted to do a full on review video. So I got the other four remaining shades. We got the shade Cheer, it's like Selena's shade. It's a stunning, stunning. Anyways, I'm not gonna deep dive into these cause I'm gonna do a separate full on dedicated video for these. Then I got the shade Truth. These are literally all over my For You page. I have swatched these already, so that's why you see like that weirdness there. That's me swatching already, because I already did a video on that, but I just wanted to show you that I got these during the sale. Then we have the shade Hope. I love this shade. This is my everyday shade. I will be wearing this nonstop every single day. These are like so, so, so pretty. Look at that shade. That is like a perfect petal rose color. It's actually what I'm wearing right now in my cheeks. Stunning. Finally, I got the shade Love. So, so, so pretty. Oh, I'm scared of dropping this and I almost dropped it. Oh my God. Let me see if I ruined it. Hopefully not. Oh, it's still intact. Thank God. I don't know what it is about the packaging that I feel like they're gonna fall and they're just gonna bust. So I got the mini of the one size mattifying till dawn setting spray. I've been hearing so many good things about this. I have a friend that's like obsessed with this setting spray. And I have been meaning to try it, but I don't want to buy the full setting spray. But then it's in an aerosol can. Anyways, every time I see her, her makeup just looks stunning at the end of the night. Like, just beautiful. And I was like, what are you wearing? How does your makeup look like that? Oh, it's the one size, the one size. So this is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray. I can't wait to try this out. I've never tried these blushes here, the brand Say. Is it Say or is it Sai? This one's in the color Chili. This is a do blush, liquid blush. I'm in my blush era. Like that is all I seem to buy is just blush. I don't know why. Blush and foundation and just face products, obsessed. So this is it here from the brand Say. Let's do a little quick swatch. I think it just looks so, ooh, 
Man, that's a big, wow. That's huge doe foot. I love the doe foot though. It actually will probably make you feel chilly. It's just like such a pretty, I love looking cold. Like I love a cold girl moment. That's me in Miami. That is beautiful. I love that shade. It's very dewy. It's like very, I don't know. Like, it almost disappeared. <laughs> I had to try the house lab blushes. This looks so stunning. I wanted the watermelon one, but that one was just too bright for me. I try to go a little soft, so I got this shade. Shade Hibiscus Haze. They are talc free. Lady Gaga's house labs, by the way. Oh, I love Lady Gaga. Come on, yeah, open it. Let's open it. Ooh, look at the packaging. And I know that these are not new blushes. Packaging was redone. This has been like a rebranding. But look at this, how stunning. It's like rubberish material. Beautiful. Hibiscus Haze. I don't have a blush that looks like this in my collections. I don't even want to touch it. I mean, I kind of do, but let's let's touch. Ooh, that is soft. And it has a mirror? What? Okay, let's swatch. That is the swatch. Look at that color. How stunning is that? It's like the perfect rose color. Gorge. Oh, and it's a magnet. It's a magnet. I love it. I got this Tower 28 Hydrating Lip Treatment. This one's in the color Blood Orange Vanilla. Oh, tell me that doesn't like sound like a beautiful song. That's what it looks like. Cute packaging. And this is a bright red. Look at that pigment. That is such a stunning lip treatment color. Oh, and it smells like vanilla and orange. I could totally see myself using that every day. Lastly, I got two minis. So I got the mini Rare Beauty Soft Liquid Pinch Blush in the color Virtue. This is the perfect peach Pantone color, like peach fuzz, the color of the year that I never thought I'd like, but I'm into it. It's a perfect color for the spring. Oh my God, these are so tiny. Let's go ahead and swatch this one. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that peach color. That's gorge. So tiny and cute. And then I got this mini Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Peach Pie. I've been wanting to try this one because I really want something that's smoothing under my eyes. I keep hearing so many good reviews of this powder. So how do you open this? Ooh, okay. Let's open it together. I don't know how to open this. Like, how do you close? Oh, it's like the, ooh, oh no. It says here, close and open. Okay, I'm not gonna break this today, so I will figure out how to use that another day. All right, up next is Ulta. I think I got a few more things from Ulta than Sephora because Ulta has like 50% off. So their sale is, in my opinion, much better than Sephora and they don't discriminate against tears and all of that. So I did restock on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. These were 50% off. I did get a restock of the original Tarte Shape Tape, but then I also got this one, the Radiant Tarte Shape Tape. I'm like, radiant, what's that about? So I got both, two for the price of one, practically. I did get a couple of foundations. I got like three of them. So I've been wanting to try these for the longest time. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. It's supposed to be a watery essence and it just turns into this beautiful skin tint. So I've been seeing this everywhere and it was almost 50% off, if not 40% off. And by the way, this goes for like $22. And I'm like, why is it so expensive? But I got it for $12. Yeah, I saw it on sale and I'm like, I'm getting that because why is drugstore makeup so expensive all the time now? And I also got this one here. This one is from About Face. I've been wanting to try this foundation for the longest time. It's supposed to be a beautiful skin perfecting foundation. It's called their Performer Foundation. This one's in the shade LM2 Neutral. By the way, this one's in the shade Medium. It almost looks too dark for me, but I don't know. And this one, I did open it already. This is the Makeup Revolution Skin Silk Foundation. This looks so beautiful, but I'm afraid that this is too light for my skin, so I am gonna have to most likely return this, but yeah, it's, it's definitely way too light for me. It has a nice pump. This is supposed to be a gorgeous luminous serum foundation. It's supposed to be light coverage. And I did get a restock on this because I actually just ran out of this. This is the Garnier Micellar Water. This one is the waterproof one. So this is the one that takes everything off. I don't really use this as a cleanser, but I use this to clean up mistakes and this will last me forever. The last bottle I owned lasted me for about three years and here we are. And I went a little crazy with blushes because that's just me. So I got these two blushes. These two are from Too Faced. These are their Cloud Crush Blurring Blushes. 
that's a, a whole thing to say. Look at this beautiful pink. Tell me that it's not the most gorgeous baby doll pink. Let's swatch. So freaking buttery. Oh, why is this? And it has a little mirror. Tell me this packaging is not the cutest packaging ever. Look at this. It has like a little heart there. Look how adorable that packaging is. Yeah, so this one's in the shade Candy Clouds. Look at this gorgeous pink. It is definitely a light blue pink. And then this one is in the shade Velvet Crush. A little bit more neutral for every day. Oh my God, I almost dropped this. That's the shade right there. These were also 50% off. These are the Persona Super Blushes. This one is in the shade Terracotta. This shade here is something I don't have in my blush collection. I know it looks like a bronzer, but it's a blush. Sometimes you just want a warm toned bronzy color. I'm gonna do a little quick swatch. It's a stunning, beautiful, orangey kind of shade. These are normally 22, but it was half off, so it was like $10. I also got this one here in the shade Caramel. Ooh, that doesn't look like a caramel. If anything, this looks more caramel. Anyways, I'm not a packaging police here. Gorgeous shade. It has like, a sheen. The other one was all matte, but this has a little bit of a sheen. That is so pretty. Oh, that is a stunning shade. That is the most beautiful petal pink, but it, it's not glitter. It's just stunning. Wow, that's a good shade. I got this blush from Essence Pure Nude. They have such a good highlighter and they have another blush that I love. It's the Berry Cheeks one. This one's in the shade Bold Heart. My heart is bold because of you. Anyways, this is a love affair I have with makeup. This is ridiculous. Tell me that is not stunning for the springtime. Let's swatch. Oh my God, the blendability, the formula of these blushes are unreal for the price. I got this for $2. Reminds me of the Brer Beauty one. Oh, that is a stunning blush color. That could go so beautifully on top of any blush or even on its own. I love Essence. Essence has some of the best, best formulas. I did restock on my all-time favorite brow definer. This one's from ABH and it's in the color Dark Brown. This is my favorite brow product, just hands down. I've tried L'Oreal, I've tried the CoverGirl one, I've tried like drugstore versions, but there's nothing that compares to the Anastasia one. So this one was 50% off, so I did restock on that. I needed a waterline eyeliner, because I ran out, and I got this one from KVD Beauty. So this is the tattoo liner. I love the tattoo liner, um, ink one, obsessed with that one. So I got this one and I, I figured it'd be just as good. I need my waterline liner to be pitch black and I need it to glide easily. So I'm excited to use that one. We got these two lipsticks. I love the Milani lipsticks. My favorite brown shade of all time is called Teddy Bear. I love their formula. So I got this one and the shade Nude Cream. Ooh, that is the prettiest nude. Oh my goodness. That is the prettiest pinky nude. I'm looking for an everyday shade, but I didn't want it to be too brown, but then I don't want it to be like too warm tone either, but then I don't want pink. This is right up the alley that I was looking for right there. That is stunning. And then I did also want another nude lipstick, but I wanted something more on the warm side, but not like dead looking, you know what I mean? This one is from Evolution. This one's in the color Lover Nude. And the packaging is stunning on both of these. Ooh, oh. It came a little destroyed, but it's okay, I guess. Destroyed, look, oh, Such a pretty color though. I will have to return this one. Ooh, look at that color. Oh, that is such a stunning color. I'm probably just gonna keep it just because it was super cheap. All right guys, that completes my haul video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know if you got anything during the sale. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next one. Bye guys.